okay so we are here to record the video for the delta 50 kilowatt 6 mppt solar inverter so this is the product review of course and it is created by the Indolphin new energy so in this section we have some uh, points which we will discuss so the first point is the product feature and the second point is product highlights and then installation scenario design overview and the technical overview the product warranty of the product and the ideal applications so let's get started so this is the delta inverter which is uh, launched recently by the company and uh, now we'll see the product features what exactly the product features it has and uh, what they are offering for uh, this product so the first feature is it has 6 MPPT with the max efficiency of 98.7% so uh, the feature the exactly uh, the main specialty is the 6 MPPT and uh, before that we don't have the 6 MPPT inverters in 50 kilowatt range maximum we get uh, 4 MPPTs so this time we have 2 MPPT extra so this is the main feature and the second one is the wireless communication we have and this would be sub 1G which is uh, different technology radio frequency communication and the optional Wi-Fi so I will discuss you about the sub 1g in this so let's see uh, the third feature is the smart iv curve scan and diagnosis you can have and you can see the iv curve of the generation of the inverter generation and you can uh, analyze and then diagnose same time as well so the fourth one is fuse free design with a smart string current monitoring uh, so you know already that uh, there is fuse in the fuse in the inverters so in this inverter this is kind of fuse free design there is no fuse no fuse inside the inverter so it is very good uh, to have it and uh, smart string current monitoring of course this will monitor your strings uh, properly in the current monitoring the real-time monitoring so it will have also an advantage a kind of feature nighttime reactive power generation is uh, very much useful in the industry because uh, when we have a, a plant where the reactive power generation is too much so we need to uh, cancel it out uh, by producing the negative reverse uh, reactive power so uh, this would be very uh, helpful so this is the this feature is also there it has anti pid function in built and arc fault circuit interrupter so it's called afci so this is also a new feature so a lot of features features are there so compatible with both aluminium and copper ac cables so it is also a good feature This inverter has type 2 SPDs on both DC and AC sides. So that is okay, but uh, maybe it if it is there like uh, type 1, type 2, then it would be good. But type 2 is there, DC and AC side, both DC side and AC side, you get the surge protection device. So let's move. So you, you can ask why this has 6 MBPT. So let's see why this has 6 MPPT because the 6 MPPT always get a flexible design in the solar power plant and the power plant in different 
location different uh, design scenarios so this will give you the flexibility in design of course the 6 mpts always give you the more flexibility uh, to design your system number of strings and the panels or the modules in the strings you can have a very good flexibility at any time and the third one is we can say that the pv pv array are facing different directions because there are a lot of uh, scenario a lot of sites where they have uh, different orientation multiple orientation so it will helpful in uh, the designing of uh, the power plant so in every ways 6 mbpt is the greater advantage in uh, i mean if we compare with the 4 mbpt or the 3 mbpt or 2 or 1 mbpt 50 kilowatt same series inverter of other uh, brands of course it has a uh, advantage like minimize energy losses and the maximize higher yield so yield is also high uh, because you already are uh, deploy your system in 6 mbpt so energy is always minimize and maximize your output so you can ask what is sub 1g and if you don't know then let us discuss about the sub 1g what is sub 1g and why they are giving the sub 1g application or system so you can see in the in the photo that sub 1g is kind of uh, technology for the communication where there is an antenna for this there is also an app my delta solar app uh, is there so this is the technology as the name suggests it operates um, in between the 1 gigahertz instead of uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, which already uses by the Wi-Fi routers and different uh, general communication devices at site it is operating uh, between the 868 megahertz to 915 megahertz band so it is like uh, uh, below the 1 gigahertz system right why they are using this because the low power radio frequency technology it is a very low power radio frequency technology there are also a low power uh, wide area network and uh, uh, it it operates on the bbsk technology that that is the advanced uh, communication coding encoding so uh, they are using for this because it consumes less power and the wider flexibility wider range so this is very good for uh, the communication where we don't have much power or the system operated on the batteries of course it operates ultra narrowband technology which we do not take uh, too much of uh, band low power consumptions already uh, told you that it take low power consumption and it's always been using for the smart cities in agriculture fields in smart farming and the healthcare sector so move on to the next and uh, of course so do not forget to subscribe our channel in dolphin new energy please subscribe like and share and of course always uh, put the bell icon for all your notification what feature highlights feature highlights are there are so many features so let's discuss one by one so feature highlights there there are uh, wi-fi module wiring port there and dc input uh, 12 strings dc switches switch are there so uh, you can see in the picture that uh, swappable fan kit is there ac output and also the rs485 so of course swappable fan kit wireless communication uh, this is app of course and the dc switch for the uh, on and off dc uh, input 12 strings are there 
you can um, deploy to all the strings and you can have a modbus communication over rs485 for any communication devices connections so uh, what are the installation scenarios installation scenarios are you can have very easy installation scenario or you can mount wall mount and ground mount so it is very easy save lot of cost support wall and mounted and ground mounted installation uh saves a lot of cost and the energy and of course the time of the team so uh, it's a additional rack cost also so that is very good so design overview it has very robust design and uh, toggle latch design so it is uh, very easy it is very helpful to maintain and minimize the risk of water intrusion and the operation and while you are maintaining the system it is very easy to operate so very good design also what is the product warranty so product warranty always be a 5 5 year standard warranty so you can increase by paying extra to the company you can get a plus 5 year warranty what are the technical highlights so technical highlights this inverter can take maximum 80 kw input dc side and you can overload it to the 62.5% of course this is a 6 mppd inverter and what you get in output 55 kva ac output which is based on 400 volt and the power factor is of course the ind industry's standard 0.8 lagging to 0.8 leading what protection they have this this do not have fuse and it has the spds type 2 of course if we have the type 1 and type 2 spd so it has an option you can opt for the type 1 and type 2 spds communication this is the very new feature uh, they bought in so uh, this is the built in energy data logger which which is not very common in the earlier inverters so this time you can get a built in energy data logger so you can have all the data logging uh, energy data logger system uh, which is in built in the system right so what are the ideal applications you can uh, uh, you can install this inverter so uh, as you as you can see that you can have uh, this installation uh, you can have the installation for the very a uh, multiple oriented roof because it has 6 mppt of course you already know so multiple orientation sites you can use this and you can use for the tin shed applications of course the uh, the installation where uh, the multiple orientation on the on the roof also and tin sheds um you can have kind of uh, with different modules uh, in different uh, wattage modules in strings you can also have this kind of application but this is very limited application nowadays you can uh, do a uh, application for the risk projects uh, where you have you will deploy a different kind of modules for example polycrystalline monocrystalline amorphous or uh, perk and uh, okay so do you have any questions of course you shall have lot of questions so write write your questions in a comment and we will answer you soon right okay so it's time to follow our channel so it's time to follow our channel you can go to the search bar YouTube and search in Dolphin New Energy. You can find our channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. Exactly, right? So, last but not the least, thank you for watching our video, and have a good day.